Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And in an earlier video, I put together a long and detailed by the book process of how you start up the Viper. But since then, we've had some people ask, you know, how you can start it up in a uh, much more quick way, uh, particularly if you're, say, like in a multiplayer mission. So I thought I'd put together a quick and dirty little video for you. So coming to electric panel, we'll switch it to main power. And then we'll lower the canopy by pressing left, control, and C at the same time. Okay, with that down, we'll clamp it in place and we'll move the uh, JFS switch to start to position. At this point, we're going to wait for 20% uh, on the RPM gauge. Okay, 20% and we'll hold down uh, left shift and home at the same time to move the throttle from off to idle. And now we'll wait to 60% uh, on the RPM gauge. And once it's 60%, the electrical load will be taken over by the generator and not used by the battery anymore. Okay, 60%. Now come to the avionics power panel and uh, mission computer, stations, MFD, UFC, MIDS, LVT, data link, GPS and align to norm. On the avionics power panel, we'll go right hard point if we have a, a targeting pod, fire control radar, radar altimeter, uncage the SI, SAI and level it. Uh, turn on the HUD symbology by rotating the HUD symbology uh, brightness wheel up on the ICP, master caution off, radio on, nose wheel steering on and right now we don't have a full simulation of the INS we can go ahead and move it to nav now but later on that'll uh, need to have a five minute alignment so at this point ready to taxi out and because we have nose wheel steering we can just use the uh, rudder pedals to steer left and right and you also note the uh, no rad for no radar on the HUD uh, indicating that because we have weight on wheels the radar is not transmitting while we're here on the ground Anyhow, that's a quick and dirty look at how you can start up the Viper uh, pretty quickly. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.